Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walking Faith. Happy Thursday. It is June 3rd. It's raining in New Jersey, but I hope you're enjoying the day so far, if you want to follow along. Overcoming mountains. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and that's Isaiah. When you face a mountain in your life, you have a choice. Be overwhelmed or be energized because you know the Savior will reveal himself in a profound way to you. Of course, your first thought may be, if I were really in God's will, I wouldn't be facing obstacles, especially ones this enormous. But that is not so. You have an enemy who will oppose you whenever he sees the Lord doing anything great through you. You can be in the center of God's plan doing exactly as he says and encounter a mount of opposition. But don't focus on the mountain, friend. Look at Almighty God who loves and provides for you. He can handle the troubles before you with ease. And if you respond correctly with faith, your relationship with him will grow stronger and he will be glorified. So don't give up. Look to God and trust him. You will be amazed at how he reveals the mountains before you. Lord, thank you for taking care of the mountain before me. It is nothing to you. I praise you, my Savior. Amen. In his presence, watch for the Savior's deliverance. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is where is that voice coming from? It is not from God. We all face adversity. Anxiety comes, fear, doubt. The voice is so much louder than the voice that says to continue to move forward. That voice always appears and it says, how are you going to accomplish this? If God was for you, he would be evident. Or, or how are you supposed to overcome this adversity? How are you going to pay this bill? How is it all going to work out? That's what we're always questioning, right? And for some reason, we're always questioning God. But if we look back and say God was evident throughout my whole life and he helped me, whether it's overcome adversity, find a job, find someone to, to get married to, fall in love with, have children, get past, get through the pandemic, that voice still comes. It doesn't matter how many times God has shown himself, even if the burning bush appears, even if God came down himself, we will still question and doubt. You have to ask yourself, first of all, where is that voice coming from? When that voice comes, which it comes every single day for a lot of us, you have to speak to that voice, sometimes out loud and say, listen, this is not from God. God is not warning or preparing me for anything. And the other question you have to ask yourself is, if the voice is not coming, if you don't hear the voice of doubt, the voice of fear, you have to ask yourself, am I living according to God's will, God's purpose for my life? Because the enemy will not come after you if you are not trying or, or fulfilling or following God's path for your life. If you're just going around living life however you want, not following God's plan for your life, I guarantee the enemy is not coming after you. He comes after the ones that are willing to go against the grain, willing to fight, willing to go forward, move forward to glorify God, to glorify the kingdom, to fulfill your purpose according to God's plan. So expect that voice, but speak to that voice and let him know, let it know that nothing will, will stop you, nothing will overcome you because you are glorifying God. Until next time, always remember, if they're built to inspire and evangelize to your words and actions, God bless you. Follow me on YouTube for Minute Motivations.